there, Angela Raspis, your guide to a wholehearted life. Now, it's that time of the year. We're coming up into what is affectionately called the silly season. And sometimes at this time of the year, we um, can find our emotions sort of getting hold of us and taking control of us. Maybe it's because all the family's in the one place for once. You're bringing in lots of people who don't normally hang out together. And it becomes quite intense emotionally. So there is a, a brilliant technique that I'd like to share with you today that could come in really handy at this time of the year. It's not the only time you can use it. This this technique I use whenever um, almost like a, a controversy comes up, something that I am going to react to. Well, this concept is called the power of the pause, and it works just as well whether you're dealing with your, with your children, with a challenge in your business, with a challenge in your life, with your partner, or with your relatives, as I just suggested. Now, the power of the pause is the ability to, when you're about to go, ah, for whatever reason, you literally pause and you really start to feel where is this emotion or where is this thing that I'm going to blurt out coming from. You sit with the feelings for a moment and allow yourself that space to identify how you're really feeling. Because the concept here is to be able to respond rather than react. Now, not preaching from a mountaintop of any sort of perfection because, yes, I react sometimes, especially at my kids. But if I can remember to invoke this uh, practical practice, I can make a big difference in both the way that I model behavior for my kids, but also my own emotion levels. Now, when I've invoked that power of the pause and become aware of what these feelings are and I actually identify them, ah, anger, yes, frustration, yes, a little bit of fear, Yes, whatever the feelings are, working out where they've come from and then asking myself the next part of this practice and equation. The next part is something that I've been taught in the fellowship that I'm involved in and it is incredibly useful. So first comes the power of the pause, getting in touch with your feelings and then going, does it need to be said? Does it need to be said by me? Does it need to be said now? Now, those three magical questions have, I swear, stopped me from getting into all sorts of trouble because of that desire to just react with the emotions rather than pause and, and understand where they're coming from and appreciate how to deal with them. Sometimes it does need to be said. Sometimes it does need to be said by you. And sometimes it does need to be said now. But giving yourself that space, that power of the pause, allows you to just stop for a moment and give it due consideration before you react. So that's my advice for this week. It's a powerful practice that if you allow yourself that space will make a big difference, not only to the festive season, season but in general within your life. So I hope you'll find that useful. I'm Angela Raspis, your guide to a wholehearted life. I know my to-do list is as long as my arm, and yours probably is as well. But within those to-do lists, we also have particular goals and real core objectives that we set for ourselves. But there's a big difference between the person who approaches those with a high achiever's expectation versus someone that approaches those with an overachiever's expectation. And let me explain. Now the